This week on Tripping Around Oz, we take on the Savannah Way and, uh, yeah, oh had an interesting God. time. Okay, we stuffed up. Ready? Four. <laughs> we need to get out. Yeah, we do. There's more rain coming. Um, and us and many other campers uh, got stuck at a free camp when a freak rainstorm came through. Welcome to a new episode. We need to remember Yay. to do this more often. We are very <laughs> bad at doing introductions and goodbyes, so apologies for that. So this week we're going to show you our travel leaving Cairns, stopping at Tallaroo Hot Springs, Cobbled Gorge and ending in Normanton. As we travelled along the Savannah Way, we stopped at the Tallaroo Hot Springs for the night. We stayed at an unpowered campsite, it cost us $35 for one night, and we also booked ourselves a private hot springs experience, which was $30 for four people. to bitumen over and over and we just left the bitumen to get onto the gravel and it was a bit of a bump to get down so we got on the radio and said oh yeah there's a there's a bit of a bump and next thing you know Dion's dad's like I've just broken my back window and we thought maybe there was a crack or something but no the whole window has shuttered I'll drop some footage in but that's really not a good way to start our trip oh guys you know it's in um board they get for like for sale signs and a few people get those and stick them on the actual that seems really brittle doesn't that yeah, is it, like is it supposed no to be that brittle it's got no window tint on it Ugh. Hello. Alright, so today we are at Cobble Gorge. Gorge. Yep. And we're going on the tour the over tour. the glass bridge. Yeah, so it's $114 each per adult. I can't remember how much kids are, but under five is free, so we didn't have to pay for Hudson. And you go on these big four drive bus things and they take you out and you do a little boat ride through the gorge and you go over the glass bridge. 
Um, you do need to book in advance because the tools do book out quick. They do yeah. them three times a day. What do we do? We book out nearly a week in advance of us getting here? Yeah, it was actually not too bad to get a tool booked, but getting the campgrounds were a pain. Like, yeah. they book out quite fast. So book that in advance, but it's absolutely beautiful here. It's worth all of the money for the campground. Yeah, I, I wasn't expecting something this good in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. And so, hopefully you can hear us today because we have microphones now. Yeah. We've upgraded. But yeah, let's do it and we'll show you what it is. Yeah. Hudson, are you ready to go? Yeah. Yeah? Be on no friends. <laughs> I'm just too cool for friends. Okay. Ready? Let's go. Turn the stick up the other way. Yeah, Jess, you've got to watch what you're saying now because we'll hear you from halfway <laughs> across the field. I mean, I can't mutter under my breath. Jess, do you smell? Hi. Okay. Hi. So we're doing a 1.3 walk around and then we come back and we're doing the boat ride. So I'm assuming we're going straight to the glass bridge. Yeah, I reckon we would be. Yeah. But information, we drove to get here, we drove through a dry, dry riverbed, and during the wet season, it goes three to five meters of running water. Yeah, underwater. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. It's a massive riverbed. Yes, down look down. Hmm? Down look down. Have you seen my cool booties? <laughs> yeah, it's just the landing you got to worry about. Oh, I don't like that. Oh. Jump, 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 jump. No, we're not jumping. That's not a thing we're doing. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> and be blinded. Oh, yep. Wow. That, that sun is bright. So bright. <laughs> holy. Anyway. Holy, holy. All right. So what did you think of the gorge? It was trip? really good. I would highly recommend it. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. 
Yeah, they did a lot of like, you know, talking about the flora and fauna, which is not that interesting. Oh, you learnt some of the bush duck that you can eat around here and what not to eat? Yeah, but the glass bridge is awesome. I wasn't even scared on it, which was insane. Yeah. And the, um, uh, what do you call it? The, the boat ride was probably the highlight though. Yeah. It just keeps going and going through the gorge. Even travelling under the glass bridge is kind of cool. Yeah, and in some port, in some points, the br the gorge is only two metres wide, so the boat just fit through. Yeah, there's a few scrapes on the banks from the boat going through. Yeah, but no, it was really good, definitely worth it, and I can understand why we've never had anyone say, don't go. Yeah. But definitely, if you come in here for the tour, stay at the park. The park is amazing. Yeah, it's well spaced out, like, the, unless you book for a camp for two or three people, you don't have neighbours, like, there's yeah. a good, I don't know, one to four metre gap between your vans. And the facilities are really nice and they're clean and you've got the infinity pool, the swim up bar and they've got free kayaky things on the lake. Yeah. It's just nice. It just has a really nice feel to it. So, yeah, put this one on your list. It's a bit out the way, but it is worth it. Yeah, not as bad as going to the Cape. Not no. that far out of the way. No. All right, yeah. let's go. This way. Yeah. Hi, hi. Yes, Hudson. Next stop's camp. Mm -hmm. It should be, yeah. That's still four hours away. Got a long drive today. Three hours, four hours, something like that. Yeah, so we left Cobbled Gorge today and we are on the way to Normanton to stay in a free camp and go let the boys do some fishing in Corumba. Corumba, is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah, if we make it to Corumba. Yeah, we it's do. Not, we might just be in the Norton River. Yeah. We, we were looking forward to getting in and doing some fishing, but... Yeah. We're pretty much, unfortunately, on a little bit of a time frame. Going up to the Cape has thrown us right out because seasonally in Darwin, obviously, it's quite hot up there, even yeah. in winter. Also, I have so much post up there waiting for us, and um, it's getting increasingly difficult to, to get, get to things to, to get them to hold and they actually screwed up the other day and they sent back one of our parcels which they weren't supposed to they had agreed to hold it for us until the 13th of july and it hit about the 27th of june and i got a notification to say it had been delivered back to send us so Mom. that was not fun so basically if it was any other parcel i'd just contact the seller and be like hey it's gone back can you repost it but unfortunately this is our replacement gopro under warranty from GoPro who it took me a long time to get them to agree to even send me a new one and now it's gone back so so yeah now we have to try and get the GoPro back so anyway yeah it's gonna be the part normally Australia post on the road has not been an issue but yeah us detouring and things arriving at different times it's been a nightmare so we've got two weeks basically to get to Darwin to pick everything up yeah, it's going to be a bit of a rush trip. It will be, but that's okay. Like, it's fine. There wasn't a huge amount that we'll be missing. No, because originally we were going to be going all of the actual Arnhem Land and that before Darwin. getting to Darwin. Now we've got to go to Darwin, go out and do uh, Arnhem Land and all that, and then come back in. Which is it. not a huge deal. It's, it's fine. It's nice. A bit of doubling up. But. And we're doing a little bit of the golf, which we weren't going to do. No. And because we've come back and done the Cape, we've done the lava tubes and, you know, Cobbled Gorge and the hot springs. And we've done a lot of things that we weren't going to get to do otherwise. So it's fine. But just from here through to Darwin would be pretty much us only stopping at Mataranka, um, maybe Dally Waters. If we have time, we're going to go up to Lyman National Park. But I don't think we're going to have time at this point. No. Okay, Dion, let's do it. Alright, time for us to yeah, go. Fun. We'll see you at Normanton. Okay, we stuffed up. Um, we are staying in Normanton at the moment at the free camp in town. Anyway, there was supposed to be a little bit of rain coming and it kind of never came. It said it might come overnight. Uh, but it pretty much didn't come for like two days and there was nothing on the radar, so we stayed the night. Uh, and basically the campground is made up of basically bull dust. And we've woken up and we had a <laughs> load of rain last night. And uh, we can't drive anywhere. The toilet's full. And the boys are having trouble even 
walking, let alone driving. So we've just checked the radar and there is a lot more rain coming. So if we don't get out today, we will be stuck here for quite a while. Um, when I checked the radar last night, it was supposed to be fine for the next few days. Hey, and it's, just wait a second. And it is overcast and crappy. So I'm just gonna show you a bit of what our situation is. The boys are currently deflating um, and we're gonna use the max tracks, but what's, what's it like outside Hudson? There's a lot of dust here. Is there a lot of mud? Yeah. Yeah. It's rained a lot. It has. Oh, that is moving. All right, let's see if he can get. Oh, he's driving. Oh. Yeah! Well, that's something. Gonna get a van through that. And it's raining again. Wonderful. Come on, let's do it. Let's get out of here. Mm-hmm. Go Bobby, keep going. We need to turn a bit before the wind gets worse. Oh, they're going. Oh no, Poppy's going. Yeah, let him go first. <laughs> oh, he's sliding. Oh dear. He's going, he's moving slowly. Gonna do that good? Yeah, we'll do better because we've got more deflated tires. We've got a heavier van though. Yeah, but he's got three tons on one axle, whereas we have. Yes? Yep, I'm here. Just showing everyone what the mud looks like. Are you excited? So much fun. Oh, your dad got out though, so that gives me a little bit of hope. Yeah, we wave. More than he does, so yeah. Good time. More rain coming, so we gotta try. Ready? Four. 
<laughs> we need to get out. Yeah, we do. There's more rain coming. Uh, which way are you going to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try and do a U-turn. Just help. No, we're just about to leave now. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let us know how you go. Alright, let's do it. Okay. The guy behind us got out and the guy who got stuck there also on their way out but these tracks are fucked. Oh, well done. Yeah, I think we've pretty much been told I'll pull off everyone. Oh yeah, they're in the tracks now and they're sweet. Oh, God. Look at this, look. It's like ankle deep. Oh, I'm, ah. Yeah. I've got like 
a K to walk out in this so I could <sighs> Okay, so you just my just uh UH ah! UH me. We are out. Thank God I was getting a bit concerned. We got up this morning and they almost like we're not getting out today. And then we looked at the radar and there was way more rain coming. Um oh my god, look at that. Anyway, everyone has gotten out so far. But man, oh man, this mud is sticky and gross. Oh. And yeah, I've got about a K to walk out just so I could film it for you guys so you could see. Um, so if you come to Norton and there's gonna be any rain, do not stay at the free camp because it's, uh, yeah, it's soft. Anyway, bye. I didn't know this stuff was down here. Oh. Oh, that is, that is slippery. Oh dear. That is not a good angle. Oh fuck. That little van that was behind us, he's like sunk to the axles. I don't know what's happened here. He slid off. He's been going right, but the slightest little slope that glides, and it's gone to that bloody hole. This stuff is like... It's on the left hand side, Bob. So slippery, oh my god. I don't remember that. Oh my god. Bakery's closed. He's so stuck. Thank you. Alright, I'm gonna go try and help that guy that's bogged. Finish doing what you were doing, then come over. Yeah. Alright. Not sure we're actually gonna be able to get him out, but we can't really leave him there without trying. Yeah. Use two winches on him. I might have to, but I don't know if we're both slide or not. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. Yep, see how stuck he is? Imagine I'll go up and I'll reverse back under the grass. So he got out, so that's that's good because I was a bit worried he was on a real bad angle. So anyway, so he's out. Um, well, I'm assuming he's back at the road, but he's out where he was. There's one other guy here that is pretty screwed on his own. So we're going to attempt to try and help him get out as well. Because at the end of the day, like, you got to try and help people. Otherwise, it's just not nice to leave them. There's a lot more rain coming and it's just going to get more and more muddy. So... So we better help them. We better give it a try. We can't promise we'll get them out, but we'll try. Uh-huh. Yeah. And 
Go, 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 go. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Come on. You stay. Come on. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, and he's stuck now too. Don't, don't slow down. Don't slow down. That's tracking control kicking in there. Come on, come on, come on. Go left, keep left. Oh, he's sliding. Keep going left. You might help keep him down. Oh, dear. So this is what we look like after getting out and rescuing people. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of the mud's fallen off, but like, it's thick. Yep. So, a nice clean van is no longer clean, but we're out. And this is the fix for the back windscreen. <laughs> Forgot to do. Plastic and a lot of uh, tape. Hey, that fixes everything. Yeah. Bloody hell. So boys, oh look at <laughs> look at the boys, they're like Don't stand behind the car. They're <laughs> going in mud. So how was that for a morning, hey? Oh it's good, how's it shiny? Good way to end the trip. Oh my god, so it's still raining. Anyway, that's alright. Oh well, we're lucky we got out when yeah. we did. It's gonna be worse. It is. They should have they should have shut it last point. night. Here's what it is. Oh Sue, join the join the mud club. What? <laughs> <laughs> Well, what were you doing? I was filming. <laughs> it's a much cleaner job. <laughs> <laughs>